Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now I just got back from a massive road trip. Um, long reach pictures, Qantas bags full of Qantas models and stickers and stuff. Massive big banners, certificate for wing walking. I'm probably going to make videos about all the stuff that I saw on my so many behind the scenes as I went into the baggage compartment of the 747 and went into the cockpit of the 707 and the Super Constellation, which you're not allowed to go in, which is interesting. And, yeah. So I just got back and I'm now making a new model airport up, a new model airport. So this was once Melbourne. On the other side, it's Melbourne. Which is good because I, I can flip it over. And have Melbourne if I want, but I don't reckon I will because I don't really like Melbourne, so I've made this as a replacement for Melbourne. So, what's going on here? As you can see, I'm not including the whole runway, just a tiny little bit of runway 04. And you can see I've done so much more detail, so much more realistic. I've got over here. Regionals. So this is regionals coming up with the taxiway. Taxiway going down there, taxiway going down there. I feel what the regionals will look like when it's got a bunch of planes there. And that's a super Connie that you're about to see. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing video of that. I've got that planned for you guys. So this is what they look like. Oh, so you can see they're parked sideways. And basically how a plane would rock up is um I'm gonna use this actual regional plane. Um, the Super Connie was international and domestic. It was it's at both roles in its time. Um what will happen is that it taxi down. This is my Gemini jet, so watch the unboxing of that. Go here. Go along this, which is actually diagonal, so that's the diagonal. Then we go along this. Reach the end. Turn around. Then park with these dashed lines stop right about that and so it's the same with all of the models um, then I also have um, a fresh hold so I'll demonstrate with this plane so it'll come through wait at the threshold then you'll have, I'm going to paint over all of this, this is just the markings, I'll then take a photo, you'll then have a plane landing, go to the end, and then come back, um, through here, and then my Super Connie, this is all eraser stuff, and we'll then taxi onto the runway, Onto the piano keys, line up and wait, and then off she goes. Now, moving through here, we have the um. The domestics and I've done something very wrong with the domestics I've actually made them hook up with that line there instead of this line here and that's wrong by the way um, because that is the outside line so they will taxi along here they would then 
go over to this loop taxi on it's a domestic terminal um so i will fix that just by doing that just get my trusty ruler and stuff to do it again so yeah that's um, just pretend that that's the center line um for now um and then they want to back out um so it'd be going through this way to then go down and we have three gates here this gate here cannot hold a super constellation um, super constellation is too big because you can see there it overlaps the taxiway and same as the A380 is coming through you will have a collision so you don't want that it's mainly for 717s and um, maximum an A320 or a um, 737 or if absolutely 100% necessary I reckon you could squeeze an A321 in there um, so yes, I have three of those gates, and I have what I like to call the Flying Museum. So this is a museum where everything is in flying condition. This is obviously fictional, this whole airport is fictional, although the runway markings is based on Longreach, since I love my Longreach, it's my favourite place right now, because so many cool airplane things there. Um, and it also has a museum connected to the airport, but their planes actually can't fly, well they can fly, but... They're not allowed to. Um, so what I've done here is I've got a Concorde. Obviously, this can definitely not fly. And I've got the Concorde there. And there's only one Super Constellation left. And there's a few Constellations left. But I'll have a working... Super constellation there, and obviously when you're not doing flights, you can go around there. Then they'd fly it out to air shows. Basically, just taxi onto the taxiway, and this is like a line. Like there'd be a, um, you're not allowed to go past there when it's open, and then you'd go out and fly off. And if if they're gonna do a passenger route, say like a something anniversary passenger flight, depends where it's going. If he's going to do a domestic flight, he'd go over there. If he's going to do a regional flight, he'd go to the regional thing, even though that's not historically accurate. Obviously, since this plane is still operating, anything can be historically accurate. Um, so you can do regional flights, I guess. I bet, I bet it has done regional flights just before. It just They weren't planned routes. They're just one-offs and stuff. There might be some trials. But, um... It's pretty cool. If, they, if they're going to do international, they would come to the international section, which I actually haven't done yet. And it is basically... It's um just about to be dinner time. Um, so I don't reckon I'll be doing much more work on it. I might um, go off because I've been doing this all day. Um, so I reckon this is for another time. Now another thing is that with the regional section, I might be getting some shapeways or some Gemini or some little regional turboprops. But um, you might notice this thing is huge. It's actually because it's a one three hundred set. I won't play anymore. It definitely overlaps. Um, but that's fine if it's just going there to pick up some passengers. Obviously, it won't be an all the time route and stuff like that. Too. It, it's made to fit Q400s, um, not massive super constellations. So, yes, the, the super constellation is actually not 1400. This is a 1400 airport. That's why I have all my 1400 models. Um, I'm actually, this is the old airport that's sort of been ripped to pieces. Five weeks since I've done an upload on this. Um, we're not going to be using it anymore. On an upgrade. To really detailed models 
Um, but the big ones are expensive. This is a broken Darren, so I won't be using that. But I have a few new models. This isn't the. This isn't one of them. But um, I have a big terminal, and I have, I reckon, three gates for the big boys. And obviously, I have many more of these big airliners. But that's why I have this possible expansions in the future and I can just add planes in saying that they came from off screen so yeah I will be painting over this so in future updates you won't see it but I will have a photo of it and video of it so that I know what to paint over in paint markers or Posca pens so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video that's about 11 minutes long and I will see you guys next time for an, either an unboxing or a video about my trip or another update on this airport um, progress build. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, Destino 250 out.